produce a whole new body of work. Um, and I've done a collection of blues musicians. August, we started the exhibition of blues men and pinups, and brought them all over on uh, a plane, very well packed. And uh, bubble wrap and hardball mainly. So it was crude, but it worked, and it got them here. Uh, so that's what we're doing. And we just wanted to promote the, you know, the rock and roll link with the whole thing with um, this small village being kind of full of people into rock and roll and blues and jazz and rock. There's a, there's a great history of music here in Daya. Um, and musicians, you know, well known and not so well known, who have been producing music here for years. Um, in fact, Alan Lomax, who discovered Lead Belly and Muddy Waters, came here in the 60s and stayed at my fiance's grandfather's house and sung Lead Belly songs around the table. Uh, and he recorded all these musicians and folk singers and bluesmen. So he was, a, you know, so there's that connection as well. And of course, the connection of the uh, the local band called the Pamboli, which means bread and oil in New York. Uh, they play rock and roll covers uh, from the 50s and 60s, and they're the, like, the only band in the village, mainly. I'm part of a coll uh, art collective in, based in Lyon C. Sounds French. It's not, it's not Lyon, it's Lee on C. We're based, um, yeah, in Leon C, an art collective called Studio Free, um, and I'm proud to be uh, part of that collective. You know, we're going to bring another exhibition next year to Spain, probably today or again, probably August, because it's the uh, busiest time. There's lots of people here, and lots of stuff going on. So, uh, yeah, 2014, we'll be back with a whole new exhibition. One of my postcards, all the postcards have got my web address on the back, which is the normal http dot dot slash slash. And then, this is all lower casing, it's Jesse Dis, that's J E W -S, S E D I W -S, S dot squarespace dot com. Have a look at that, you might like it. Cheers. Cheers!
<laughs> this is really distracting having these people. They're all like whizzed off their tits for art. They're mad for it. They've, put, they've had their siesta and now they want to get out there and get stuck into the local culture. Maybe have a pambole or something.